<clears throat> here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit like subscribe button like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend skinny me skinny me the infamous skinny me i remember his famous video it will go down as a classic it's a terrible thing but it's really like that i'm on i'm on the mc's right now for like a murder you know what i'm saying like for a murder when they hate you, they frame you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, in due time, like, I'm still going to be giving the record count. I'm still going to be putting on for the cool kids. Because I ain't going to start recording. And it's, I'm just going to run because I'm scared to death. <laughs> the police, they told me they do. I'm scared to death of the motherfucking court system. They told me they fucking do. When you're innocent, they still just to blew you out. They hate you, they frame you. When they hate you, they frame you. Remember that, man. Well, listen, I had this nigga, notorious skinny me, picking the weight off. The notorious skinny me, the notorious skinny me. So, skinny me, say when they hate you, they try to frame you. But skinny me never said, I'm innocent. But what he did, he made rap videos about the crimes he was committing. And he made them so realistically, it's kind of like he was watching a scary movie. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Skinny Me's behind the bars right now, you know. He's with the rest of his friends, unfortunately. So I guess it's not too bad because you have your friends around. But Skinny Me, he says he's innocent. Skinny Me was a wild guy when he was out. He was a real white guy when he was out. But unfortunately, unfortunately, one is, what Skinny Me is known for, believe it or not, more than anything else, you know, I mean, besides, um, you know, you know, what he did, but what he's really known for is for this right here. And it's a terrible thing. It's a really, really terrible thing. Oh, he is. This is my little brother, so notorious, the notorious skinny me. That boy about 130 pounds of horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I know this for a fact, man. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. That's what I like about skinny me. That's what I like about skinny me music, man. It's just raw. Yeah, it's like reality rap. Skinny me will go through a situation, and guess what? It's gonna be in a song. He's gonna make a song about the same day. So I, that's why I feel so much. I know it. When he said I killed the nigga, and I did that, I seen him do it. <laughs> that's being what he's known for. Unfortunately, it's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. So we have Skinny Me right here. You know, he's speaking from behind the bars. He's speaking from behind the bars. So he's gonna let you know what he's going through right now. So here, what Skinny Me is going through right now. The notorious skinny me. I seen him do it. Calm down, Ab. Calm down. What I'm trying to figure out, what I'm trying to figure out is why the skinny me, you know, kept on rapping about what he was doing. I can't figure it out, but this is what he's going through right now. You know, and then the murder happened. The murder happened. That's crazy. He's been sentenced. This is how he's living right now. You know, I know one thing for sure, two things for certain and shit, you know, the same outcome, like, if outcome was different, and I like that, like, found out not guilty, it would have been the same way, you understand what I'm saying, they know, they know who is who, and they, they, they know who I am, and they know that like, I'm the brother side, that's why I was everywhere, that's why I went viral, the way I went viral, that's the second time me going viral, you know what I'm saying, I went viral, coming in there, you know what I mean, I went viral, get my verdict even that's crazy that's crazy they know he's realist so it was a negative verdict you, you understand what i'm saying even though it's like already gave you they gave me life plus 25 to 50 years you think what i'm saying but like what like i said i don't cry with stupid milk you think what i'm saying so like my head out my chin up that's crazy. he's a real man he's a young man now he has no choice but to feel like that. He's young. Once he get into his 60s, 70s, 
Even in his late fifties, he's gonna start thinking and looking at things different. Believe it or not, it's a crazy thing. I'm just, I'm just preparing myself for round two, but like, like my whole thing, like I don't be surprised, like when certain shit, when certain shit happens. That's like if I'm being honest, like fuck my leg. The day of tomorrow, I won't be surprised because I know that I deserve it. I deserve to get like, I deserve to get like all that. You know what I mean? All that. So basically, what I get from it, he was out here committing crimes, but in reality, he didn't want to, and he knew he was doing wrong, so he feel at peace, at ease with the time that he received because he knew that he was out here doing wrong. I respect that. I respect that. I really do. Love, all this and all that. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it's fucked up. It had to be, like, on some, like, oh, shit, like, shorty got, um, life plus 25 to 50 years, and then and the mom could show me love. I don't look at it like, oh, shit. It's like, it's a bad thing everybody show me love. It's a good thing everybody show me love. Because, like, how do you look at it? I'm still getting recognized. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like that. And it's like, that shit gonna lead you back. The mother's gonna go back to their backstory on me and shit. People don't know realist the hottest nigga. In our city. Right. And I okay, okay, okay. So, or maybe I, it's, it sounds like he's gloating. He's gloating. He's happy. He's happy. He's happy. Should they have kept him in? Should they have kept him in? I have no idea. I have no idea. But here's what he's saying. So Skinny Me is going to explain a little better now how he felt the trial went, how he felt like how the trial went. You know, we had a good fight. You think what I'm saying? Like, we had a good fight. But it was like, it was like real political. You think what I'm saying? Like, it was real political. Like, real, real political. Like, I'm talking about like real political. It was like a lot of precise, it was a lot of pressure on the judge. Like, feds there for no fucking reason. So like, yeah, yeah, man, that part, know, that, that part. He said the feds there for no reason. I think the feds was there in case he was found innocent. They would have picked him right back up. That's what I think. This is state. This is a state case. And this and it's a state case. You but you have federal agents coming in and out the court and all that. They be coming in and out. The and that's not for people that's not familiar. Like that's not normal. Like, for a state case, ain't no federal agents involved in that at all. So how it works, if the feds feel like you might, when they want you, they want you. When they want you, they want you. So if you were to lose that state case, he's, they just pick him right back up. He was too dangerous to be behind the streets, to be back on the streets. He was just too dangerous to be back on the streets. a terrible thing. You want to peep, you want to peep the whole twist. When the feds got up there and took the stand on me, no fed can ID me. Nobody from the feds can ID me and say, oh, that's skinny in there. That's skinny in this video. Then on top of that, they got surveillance set up on a block. Whole time, it's 17 minutes of the footage. is like deleted out the jaw. You think what I'm saying? Like my whole jaw is, where the 17? What the You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, it was like a, a bullshit. Like, it, was, it, was, it was real political. Like, if I wasn't like this rapper, if I had a little rat wave or... He's delusional behind the bars. He's very delusional behind the bars. He knew he didn't have a rap, a rap wave. He knew that. He knew he wasn't anything special but a notorious murderer. That's why they came down on him. He knew that. Unbelievable. I had and shit. This wouldn't have been my outcome. You understand what I'm saying? If I was like a little regular nigga and shit like that. Yeah, he he done got a, he done he done went senile and delusional behind the bars. Unbelievable. I, I had an easy spank the case, you think what I'm saying? Like, but it was like real political, you know what I mean? Like they used my raps, they used my little rap image. They, did. they use his rap. No. They use your words against you. That's it. They did all that. Like, so they did. So they basically really like because from what from what folks told me, he said um, they didn't have a witness, an actual witness at the trial. Was that the case? 
They had no witness at the trial. So he gained. They have no witness to testify against you. They have. And they didn't need any witnesses either because Skinny Me already told him. I seen him do it. No witness that testified against me. All right, now look. I'm gonna be before I get into the star witness. We got a witness that pulls it in. Like he's a civilian. He's a person that's licensed to carry a gun. He's a security guard. He gave his statements eight minutes after the murder that he talking about. Skinny me wasn't licensed to carry a gun. Happened. The eight minutes after the murder that happened that he's talking about, he gave the cops that were around. And then the murder happened. I'm going to see a statement. He say, I seen the shooter. The shooter was a hundred. I seen him do it. And 80 pounds. 180 pounds, dark skin. You see, the shooter was 180 pounds. Skinny me. He said, I'm, not, I'm only like 120, 130. That's it. Probably 110, probably 99. That's it. Dark skin. So he basically said, I seen him. I seen what he looked like. Yeah, I seen him. <laughs> I seen him. I seen him. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. I seen him do it. He said, the shooter was 180 pounds, dark skin. Everybody know. Victoria skinny me, biggie with the weight all. Ain't 180 pounds. I've never been 180 pounds. And you definitely ain't dark skin. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm, and I'm definitely ain't. I'm definitely ain't dark skin. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out. You understand know what I'm saying? Why skinny me didn't say you know what? And I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Cause you know why? I seen him do it. Is what it really is. It's unbelievable. I'm on, I'm on an interview. I'm on an interview right there. I got the big boy. So I ain't for one. I'm not 180 pounds. I'm not dark skin. You want you understand what I'm saying? Now he see the shooters wearing a white shirt. He see the shooter jumps into a car alone by himself, pulls off. This is this is civilian. This is somebody that's a license to carry. This is somebody that a guard. That don't know you, that have no, I mean, that you don't know him, he don't know you, so he ain't got no reason to lie. Most likely, most likely, he saw the ARF video. You know what he saw. You know what he saw. Uh, on your behalf. I seen him do it. He told the honest truth. You understand what I'm saying? He knew what he saw. And so now, speed up to the star witness. This place I'm on my star witness. My star witness, he never preferred to me as a name. He called me the light skin boy. You understand what I'm saying? So he don't know my star, you either. My star witness don't know me. You understand what I'm saying? But he, he, my star witness is the person that was in. Don't forget this is only for entertainment purposes. You know, I'm not in any way glad that Skinny Me is behind the bars, that he took someone's life or, accused of, or was accused of it. I'm just reacting on the video. That's it. Joe, you know what I'm saying? And from jail, homicide, go get him from jail, take him to a from Race City, Midnight. And for his own little motive and little benefits from it, his gains from it, he chose to say that I killed somebody, but he don't even use my name. He don't call me. He killed somebody. Then And then the murder happened. That's crazy. That's crazy. Re reality rap. By skinny me. You don't call me the goat. You don't call me Biggie with the weight off. You don't call me none of these names. The person I call me none of these names. But I'm going to break it down to how he got to me. And I know this how he got to me. It's a detective that claimed he'd known me since I was six years old. Like, how you... It's wow. Crazy. For when you... Yeah, he... he, he, he. Yeah. He probably used to tell Skinny Me, be good in school. He knew me since I was six years old. What my detective did, before I get back to the star witness, what my detective did wrong, he never felt no, they ain't even did what he did wrong. If you knew somebody for that long of a period of time, you would have documented that on something called an activity sheet or a police database or whatever. You never documented how long you even knew me. 
better yet, you was the first person with all the surveillance contained in this case. You dig what I'm saying? You never wrote down on who you believe that person is. I'm still trying to figure out. I'm listening for a long while now. Why Skinny Me is not saying I'm innocent. I didn't do it. I'm innocent. Crazy. In those videos, you claim to know me. You get on the stand and say you know me for 10 years. You know me by mannerism. Oh, I can't see his face, but I'm going to say that's skinny by mannerism. That's bullshit, man. So he's and saying he can identify you by mannerism. So the other day, the other day, I was in a store. I was in a store. I saw this, you know, I saw somebody. I haven't seen him in many years. And um, he said, what's up? And he said, what's up to me? I had a mask on. I said, how you know it was me? He said, man, I know you. I know I know that. I know how that head look right there. I know how that big old head look. Because your face was unidentifiable. Now, P. Game, you come to court three years, four years later and say that. But when you first had your surveillance, before you found you a witness, you had nothing changed about the footage. What changed about the footage to where, though, you didn't write down who you believe it is on your activity sheets? Oh, so he didn't say he thought it was you at first. It was after the fact. For, for years later. Damn, you know so he said three, four he years later, then he said now, that. Wow. Now he, all of a sudden he's saying, my whole thing, when they asked me, yo, did, did you write that down anywhere? Did you document that down anywhere? He, that, that, that. Skinny me sounds like he want to get out. He sounds like he want to get out. I to watch that shit with the rest of the fucking homicide division. And nobody in the homicide division can say that to me or any of that civilians. Nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody. You don't forget nobody's mannerism if you've known them for 10 years. You understand what I'm saying? My whole thing is, my, this cop never cased me before. He never locked me up before. He never talked to me before. So you don't know him? I don't know him. His whole thing is just like, his little back trying to say he know me from this and know me from that. And know me from this. I'm a top player from 29th Street. I'm the head of 20. I'm the head chief of 29th and Jack. Oh, so he head. just popped his shit. He don't even really know what he's talking Skinny me from the north side of Philadelphia. I don't even know what he's talking about. You understand what I'm saying? My whole joint is, what I also know is he found a cell phone. But people, how he make me the suspect? Did because it was pictures of me and a phone. Skinny me still not admitting that he did it. I know he showed it to his witness. You understand what I'm saying? Right. He should like you find the phone and it got pictures of me in the phone. I know he, you had that phone the same day of the situation we're talking about. I know he showed it to. His I remember I went to Philadelphia one time, and I mean I used to see a lot of people do it, but I'm trying. I was saying why all these dudes? Why why do I want to come together and take pictures? You know, I don't really take a lot of pictures together where I'm from, but yeah, I guess you like to take pictures there. It's crazy. Witness. That witness don't know me. That witness say he never seen me a day in his life. And he a person that was born in 91. So he's 30 years old. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying on no cocky shit, but I got a rat wave in our city. We talking about a... Skinny Me just had a wild imagination, um, and he just had a, um, a trigger happy figure. It's a crazy thing. Daytime murder that they're accusing me of. How do I got one witness? You understand what I'm saying? Right. How is one person saying they seen me kill somebody? We talking bro. Is he talking about is he talking about ARM? I seen him do it. They like I'm they accusing me of a broad daylight murder. I mean, if he did a broad daylight murder and you know he did it. Why did he do it? You understand what I'm saying? Right. We, got one, we got one person saying they witnessed me murder somebody. And it's all footage, and you saying they still, and they couldn't even identify you in the footage. They couldn't I, listen, it's so crazy. The star witness said the shooter had a black hoodie on and a pair of jeans. But Skimmy don't wear black hoodies. He don't wear gray ones. He don't wear jeans. He only wear um, um, shorts. That's it. Another person said the shooter was wearing a white t-shirt, 180 pounds, dark skin. This surveillance that they trying to say that I, I'm supposed to be on is a person wearing a fucking hat to the front and a short sleeve dicky shirt, uh, uh, a dicky outfit. So they don't even match the right, the right description for the outfit they had right. on. 
Skinny Me was like, you know what? I don't know what Skinny Me is saying, but it sounded like he wanted to get out. But Skinny Me is still not saying it wasn't me. He's still not saying that. Why he's not saying I'm an innocent man? Free me! Right. Three, that's three different jewels. All right, then. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all saying that this is me with the dicky and the hat on. So when did I have time to change my clothes and put some jeans on and a black hoodie? <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Skinny me, he's been going see now behind the bars, as you can see. Saying these crazy stuff, but he's not saying I didn't do it. You understand what I'm saying, but... So the main shit they really used for real, for real, was the rap shit. The rap. My rap, but now let's... Let's break... So basically, Skinny me saying... If I didn't snitch on myself my own raps, I'd probably be okay. Du, 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 du. I bring it back. It's some shit called a Rule 500 where my witness got shot. They tried to tie me to this witness. Me and this witness don't know each other, show. I don't never seen this kid a day in my life. He don't know me. He's he never seen me a day in his life. He don't know me. He gets shot. They try to tie me to the shooting. What they do is they have a, they have... Uh, a rule 500 is it's, it's something that they put in where my lawyer gonna get a chance to cross examine it, but it's gonna be somebody in there that's videotaping the whole hammering. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They only allowed to use this if the witness was to die, show. Wow. This looks like a guy in decoration. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. So if someone was the headman wow. song before the trial, wow. then they use that. One thing about when you go behind the bar sometimes. You think you're a lawyer. You try to commit a crime and you commit a crime and you get caught. And you're trying to convince everyone you didn't do it. Even though the proof is there. Unbelievable. My witness ain't die, yo. A police officer named Richard Ruddick took the stand and said, My I see them do it. Trial started October 17th. Richard Ruddick took the stand. He I, and said, I seen him do it. That's what A.R. said. October 21st, he the person, he the cop before the went out and looking for the show. He said from October 21st to October 13th, that was 10 days. He looking for that boy for 10 days. Yeah. 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 Show. Guess where my fucking witness was at, show? In jail. In jail. <laughs> October 19th. It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing. Crazy. So he was locked up the whole time and they didn't go get him for court. They didn't want to go get him. They knew that he was going to tell the truth. So he was going to retract that statement, basically. He was going to tell the truth and they didn't give him a chance to. They don't know what he was going to say. They just you were scared, so they just played the statement that he already made. And, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I probably understand. Like, the shit was political. My whole thing, how did y'all know this dude was in jail? You know what I'm saying, but like I said, I, ain't, I can't lie. But he's probably right. Skinny Me was one of the hardest out there to do it. You know, that reality rap. Maybe he would have been the number one rapper right now. I don't know. Maybe he's right. I ain't crying over spilled milk. I just gotta get geared up and ready for um a round two of this fight, though. Show you know what I'm saying? Uh, now they get to the raps. I'll play my raps. They just what they say on my raps. They say. Every time Skinny Me is preferring to Medusa, he's... Medusa, you know who Medusa is? She's that person um, with, with all them snakes coming out of her head. Like a demon, in a sense. Not really a demon, like a monster. You know? Keep in mind, A.R. Rapp said he's the only civilized person he knows. Everyone else, a, a monster is an... Um, and wild animals, you got to keep them on, like, leash. I mean, on um, chains. You, you, you got double chains. Talk about a drug-headed individual. You come out victim had drugs. How y'all get that out of that? Wow. 
So they just cook. Yo, that's crazy. So they just said that. That's what that automatically means, right? He said when he say, "I take your head, Medusa." He's preferring to kill a drug-headed individual. Wow. Mm. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Getting my Medusa mixed up with dreads. I never thought about that. I got Medusa mixed up with a snake. I mean, that's a, you know who Medusa is. Here we go. Here we go. That's crazy. And from what, another thing from what Bro said too, and you could kind of uh, clarify this too. And I mean, one thing Bro told me was like, he basically was like comparing your situation kind of like to your brother B.I. And that's the whole thing. They railroaded Yacht. They knew Yacht was powerful. You know what I'm saying? So, so do you see the similar? Do you? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Both brothers, huh? See similarities and what happened with you and what happened with him. And if so, like, explain that a little bit. It's, a, it's identical. You think what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's an identical twin situation. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Two niggas. Like, my bloodline in my neighborhood, man, my blood, we is, uh, my neighborhood, we is twin ain't for Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? My bloodline is twin ain't for Jefferson. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we from Hollywood and Jefferson. My bloodline is that. You know what I'm saying? Like, my brother Black, my brother Black was in there getting money. You understand what I'm saying? He was in the streets. He was in the streets. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Real criminal. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? Bro, I can kill it. What are you saying? He killed And from what I understand, like, I think you even told me this. The, the boy that he was accused of killing wasn't even like an op or nothing. Like, he was like one of y'all folks. He was one of our folks. You understand what? It happens all the time, but believe it or not, believe it or not, most individuals who do bad things to each other, I mean, to each other, know each other. Most of the times they used to be friends with each other or acquaintances. Very rarely happens sometimes do strangers want to do something bad to you. Unfortunately, it's a terrible thing. It's usually family or friends. Or once upon a time friends. Or once upon a time good family, no more. It's a terrible thing. It's really like that. It's really like that. You know what I'm saying? And like the same shit, man. Right, like just a person that you actually was all right with. Exactly. Now... My whole thing is, bro, when you got power, and it's not even negative power, when you got positive power, they don't want to see what you can do, because they already know what you can do. You understand what I'm saying? Bro, they pulled these strings on me. You understand what I'm saying? To where they're like, they caged me in. I won't even, I'm not even convincing myself that I got to do forever in the day, forever, forever in the day in this genre, right? Like, That's crazy. That's crazy the way you said it. I never ever thought about it like that either. I thought, you know, he got to be there for a while, but I never thought about it like that. He got to be there forever, forever. I mean, if you've ever been arrested before, the only thing you really want to do is get out of there. And that's just being arrested in a regular police station. Think about that. Forever, forever. <sighs> At an end date, got the best of pill lawyer. You think you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, it, like I just told my folks, it'd be a problem if we was niggas that if we was fucked up, if we ain't had no bread, and we ain't had this, and we ain't had that. It'd have been a problem, but like, nah, like my support system, my family, they gonna buy the best shovels to dig me out of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? No, nah, like. Right. Only in his imagination. He's hoping right now that maybe entertainment purposes. Here we go. That's what he said. They can, he's, he thinks someone's going to use it. Use a shovel. <laughs> you know what? I saw that before in a cartoon. Skinny me is a pretty smart guy. I saw it in a cartoon before. I really did. They fucked up. You, wanna, you understand what I'm saying? And we just like... We just all over it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, we all over it. And then they, they seen this shit. Like, even when them jurors went back home after they read that I was guilty, 
uh, every fucking charge there was, I know they went back home, they couldn't duck it. They go on Instagram, they go on the social media, she had to see me, they ran like, damn. My jurors asked to see three pieces of evidence. They asked to see a picture of the address, my mug shot, which nobody never saw my mug shot, and a picture of, and a video of the sub the bus. The sub the bus show a, a silhouette. That's how the video on the sub the bus looked at a silhouette. You couldn't see nothing. So you ain't even really see nothing for real, bro. You just saw like a shadow basically there and there. That's it. That's it, bro. Shit you not, bro. So they really didn't really have nothing on you for real. Uh-uh. It was political. Uh-uh. I told you, skinny me, don't went see now behind the bars. And he's talking nonsense. They, uh-uh, uh-uh. It was political. It was real political. So they ain't say like you. Because you know what? If Skinny Me wasn't, if they didn't sentence him, Skinny Me would have basically, you know, he would have, you know what he's saying is, you know what, what he's saying, like, he probably would have been out here, um, you know, um, you know, running for mayor or something like that in Philly. I don't know. I don't know. They was trying to break stop skinny me. Using, I'm just entertaining. Ah. You got your, his friend. You ain't had no, did they have a weapon? Murder weapon? Nothing? No, no murder weapon. They ain't have no, they ain't run ballistics on nothing. No, wow. but listen, none, none of my DNA came back on nothing. So that's basically why you're saying like, cause for a rapper. Skinny me, you said I have my gloves on. You know, I have my gloves on. What you talking about? Because a lot of rappers in the city who had them kind of cases, they all had issues with how, how it got handled. That's it. So you basically, no, like, if you weren't a rapper, they, you probably would have no, spanked no, the fuck out. Let, let, let me explain that to you. One, two, three, four. Four niggas went down there to trial and fought the same day I fought, right? All right. Out of those four people, you the only one that lost? Probably, no, probably me and somebody else had paid attorneys. Oh, all right, all right. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else have court appointments and public defenders and they beat their murders, man. Right? With public defenders, bro? Wow. And they beat their murders. Well, why he? They beat their murders, man. Wow. They beat their murders. Wow. So I guess public defenders are not that bad after all. You know? They beat their murders. They beat their murders. I don't know how to take that. I mean, were they uh, innocent? You know what Skinny Me's problem is and a lot of individuals' problems are? They want to have the luxury of committing murder, murders, making mothers cry every day, also at, especially at night, and they want to be able to come home and be free with their friends. Not even their children, but their friends. It's a crazy thing. That's why when these guys right here go behind the bars, I said, you know what? You went and above and beyond to be where you are. Think about that. It's a crazy thing. But here's what I get from it. A lot of these individuals... I believe they're loved. But I don't believe they're loved by people in society. I believe they're loved by, if you're a religious person, the most high. You know? Um, because a lot of these individuals, believe it or not, once they go behind the bars, some take longer than others. But they tend to become very religious individuals were once murderers. Now they turn to, I, I like to say, good boys. There's nothing wrong with being a good boy. You know, even though they're grown men. So, a lot of them, what they need to do, they need to um, cleanse themselves and become better individuals. And they could not do that at all on the streets. But, for some reason, the Most High want to save them. So he gave them a place to stay and relax, 
to repent on their sins, to become a better individual for when they transition. I know a lot of individuals, notorious individuals, and now they know, you know, a lot of religious books. You know, it could be all a big act. I'm quite certain some is, some are. But I believe maybe that's why Skinny Wee is where he is right now. He's the type of individual you call hard-headed. It would take him at least 50 years minimum to change his view of society and the world. Till next time, guys. F Service TV. Tell a friend, tell a friend. But don't forget. Don't do anything unto another person that you wouldn't want done unto yourself. Here we go, here we go. And they say that's reality rap, reality rap. So skinny me, 50 plus years, whatever it may be, is doing a long time, but is it was it worth it? What did those individuals do to skinny me that was worth skinny me to basically give up his life along with those individuals that he took their lives? So skinny me basically decided, you know what? I want to end my life. I wonder why. I might write him and see entertainment purposes. Till next time, guys. F Service TV. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just joking. I won't write skinny me in any way, shape, or form. Till next time, guys. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Here we go. Here we go.